Thanks for making time. I know how busy you are. I have a few minutes, and then I got to get back to recovery. Great room. Twilight, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't have anyone I can talk to about. You must have friends. Yeah, I do. But I'm embarrassed that they'll judge you. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Is it possible that there's been any other woman in this world who's been the victim of infidelity? Sorry for dragging you out here. No, Macy's sick. You wanted to talk, we're talking. Um, I asked him point blank. And? He denied it. Heard that before. I think he's telling the truth. And that's good. No, because now he's furious with me. He wants to rethink things. Pandora's box. What should I do? Well, what were you thinking? I was thinking I could meet Carla and confront her. So you don't believe him? I need to be certain. Even if it destroys your marriage? I can't. I can't even think about anything else. I, mean, I see her touching him and kissing him. I get it. You're a little obsessed. Yeah. What if he's telling the truth and he doesn't leave you? Are you going to be able to look him in the eye? Or are you going to feel guilty for the rest of your life because of all the scenarios you played out in your head? I don't know. Thank you. I'm not your friend. I know that. I'm an acquaintance. Excuse me. Hey, this is Kendra. No, I can't move the appointment because my shift isn't over until... Well, why do you have to move it? Oh. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll make sure he gets to his appointment. What was it? Oh, just medical stuff. My grandfather. Do you know, I have some free time. I could be of help. Uh, that's sweet, but no thanks. Why did you agree to meet with me? Because you asked. I don't buy that. Why? I feel for you. No, I, I did. I do. Wow. A little bit of warmth from the cold heart of Nurse Kendra. It's not cold. Shut down. In hibernation. Why? Uh, I've, I've gone through something similar. And, uh, I regret the thoughts I had. Things I did. What was it? What happened? You really want to know? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> My best friend in the whole world, Gail, was being shipped off to a forward deployment. And all I could think of that night we're sitting next to this soldier, just laughing, carrying on. Dwayne, that was his name. We had dated before, and it ended badly. And uh, later on, Gail and I, we, we got into it, and she knew I had slept with Dwayne, but never bothered her. When I saw them together, man, it bothered me. The way he was pawing on her, just had his hands all over her. So I accused her. I accused her of a lot of things. She told me I was nuts. That I had lost it. And none of it ever happened. She said she was disappointed in me. Disappointed. That was the word she used. So 
she leaned in to kiss me, I turned my cheek. I turned my cheek and she just shook her head. I got in that chopper and vanished into a shit store of dust and noise. She never came back. She came back in a body bag. And somehow, that asshole Dwayne was miraculously saved. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've already said too much. <laughs> now, I'm going to go do some good in the Twilight Room. Thank you. For what? For giving me a little piece of yourself. You're welcome. And I mean it. If I can be of any help to you, please ask me. Thanks. Can I call you again? Have you not heard a word I've just said? Yes, every word. Then why the hell would you want to call me? Because you need a friend. 